What's going on with the truckers? Uh, there's a lot of truck drivers uh, wondering the update on the employee to independent contractors and what that looks like uh, for the ones that are new to this uh, update. Uh, basically, what happened to AB5 in California that stuck saying that you cannot no longer be a lease operator in California. Um, Marty Walsh, the Department of Labor Secretary, uh, basically stated and proposed a rule for all of the nation, right? And you have to think about this. Who does this affect besides truck drivers? I mean, it's all contractors that are out there. So, you know, recently he was at uh, a little venue in Kansas uh, talking about CDL programs and why trucking is important and the future of trucking is important. But there are hundreds and thousands of lease operators in America as of now that uh, this proposed rule would affect. And so I'm going to give you the six guidelines that the Department of Labor is looking at when identifying if this is a employee or a independent contractor. And the reason why he states this is he says, quote unquote, misclassification hurts workers by denying them important benefits and basic rights such as minimum wage and overtime pay. It's a problem we often see in low wage jobs. Right. And so really what they're targeting here is the giga worker space. If you don't know what that is, we're talking about the Ubers, the DoorDash, you know, Lyft workers uh, and so forth. And a lot of them fought to be employees, actually, because they felt that they were making less than minimum wage. And that's what started the fight in California. Well, at the end of it, uh, no one gets stuck with this. Everyone gets exempt, but truck drivers get stuck with this. So in this same situation, you know, they're basing this off of the giga workers that they should have benefits. But again, it's looking like the same blueprint of what happened in California. So... I do understand if you are a lease operator and your company is taking advantage of you just so that they don't have to pay benefits, but you should be a employee. I understand that. But this is the measures that they're going to look at. And here are the six. They're still working on these rules. This is not indefinite, but number one, the opportunity for profit or loss depending on managerial skill. Number two, the investments by the worker and the employer. Number three, the degree of permanence of the work relationship. Number four, the nature and degree of employer control. Five, the extent to which the work perform is an integral part of the employer's business. Number six, the worker's use of skill and initiative. So looking at these six things, they will define if you are an employee or should be an independent contractor. And so mother truckers just know that uh, the FMCSA is allowing comments on this until November 28th. So if you feel a type of way about this, uh, please jump in the link and respond to it. I'll put that down below. As of now, I'll try to get someone on the FMCSA on here on the show so that we could talk about this more in depth. You know, there's a lot of companies that run their company by having lease operators. And, you know, if you think about it, isn't that how FedEx is ran? There's a lot of companies out there that are bigger than you think that are ran this way. Landstar, how's Landstar ran? Definitely the same way with lease operators. So, you know, this could be a big game changer for a lot of trucking companies nationwide. But that's your update of today, of right now. I'll let you know more as it comes out. Mother Truckers, comment down below.